what my back looks like before, and then I'm gonna show you guys what my back looks like now. Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you crusty. Uh, someone mentioned in my comments to do an update on my acne and my back knee and I realized Yes, I need to do one. So today we're gonna get up close and personal and I'm gonna show you my face since using The Ordinary and a couple other brands in between and then how my back has been doing since the black seed oil slash spoiler alert, I ran out of that one so now I'm using African Black Soap. My skin has been doing what I consider to be amazing, the best it's ever been. I spent the last month like literally not having any like cystic acne breakouts or whatever and then of course because I was like waiting and delaying on doing this video one did pop up over here but it went down in like two days or so so we're all good and then on top of that I just got some more uh, Zion health products if you saw my video on the best vegan deodorant ever um, I was uh, it's from a brand called Zion health their brand is vegan cruelty free natural affordable I'm really grateful to them because I you know mentioned the products that I wanted to try out and they sent them to me and so I've been trying them out for a couple of days and I just want to show you what other types of products had um, piqued my interest, specifically the non-white toothpaste, which is so crazy. One thing I did want to mention that I don't think I did in my last videos for my AM and PM routine is that I've also was taking a probiotic and um, I just want to stress like how important I believe that is uh, because there is acne that is related to your gut health. That was something that my dermatologist told me years ago, my former dermatologist, I haven't seen one in years. Um, but it did stick with me and so I was using another one before Aura Organics but I actually have been using this one it's from the brand Diva which I've used their B12 pill uh, B12 tablets before and they were pretty good um, so this is a vegan pro probiotic I got it on Amazon I have just been taking one so it's one and then how many of the things is it it says two billion cfu these aren't the refrigerated ones which i always hear like oh refrigerated is the best 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 but these have been really really great i've had no like reactions or whatever and then also what i've been doing and i gotta be honest like i'm much better in the winter for whatever reason i don't know maybe i'm just on the go more in the summer but um i also i usually do the b12 spray every day like this is the one from my kind and then i have the d3 one i haven't been using the d D3 one because with D3 it's like vitamin D getting it in the sun and all that kind of stuff I felt like I've done pretty well in addition to the fact that I also take a multivitamin so I haven't felt like I need to double or triple up like I do in the winter so I do have this one but I haven't used it as frequently and so as I mentioned I do have a multivitamin so this is from the Diva brand as well um, this is a vegan multivitamin and mineral supplement with greens I've been taking one daily it does turn your urine um, like a highlighter color so just know that that will occur these are things that I have been taking in conjunction with my um, skincare products so I just wanted to mention that so that's that and then let me show you the new products that I got from Zion health which I'm so excited about these are the products that I got I'll go through each one of them and I'll probably insert some footage of me trying it um, just so you can see Wow, so I definitely wanted a toner. As you saw in my last videos, the only one that I had left, I think, was the rose water one. So I've just been using that every day. And I was curious about this one. So this is from Adama. This is the Ancient Minerals to uh, Toner in uh, Calendula, I believe is how you say this one. Remember, we didn't know how to say it last time and we didn't look it up this as well. Um, so this is supposed to be a toner that is most importantly to balance the skin pH. I've actually been really loving this. So this comes out like water. It's so thin and that's another thing that I got used to when I was in Korea I realized that toners aren't supposed to be well I won't say aren't supposed to be but toners can can be moisturizing as opposed to like I thought toners growing up were just like the stripping thing where you feel like your skin was so dry after but toners are actually moisturizing and they especially were in the Korean skincare when I used it so it's nice to see that other brands have gotten on that train. It's so light, like I said, it comes out like water, you'll see me apply it, but it feels so, so, so good on the skin. Like it's just nice and light. It's like a light flower scent, nothing too strong. Putting it on my face, I didn't feel any sort of crazy reaction or anything like that. This is a toothpaste, so it's from Claybright. 
It says Clay Bright Extra, natural toothpaste, heal gums, control cavities, eliminate bad breath. I think I had mentioned long ago, uh, I tried Brandless's, uh, the Brandless brand of toothpaste. And the one thing about like the natural toothpaste that always get me is the thin consistency. Obviously with the normal or the regular toothpaste that are out there, they're always like foamy and thick. All the natural ones I've come across are usually pretty thin. And this one is too, but I actually feel like in the couple days that I've used it, I actually feel like it's okay, it's not bad. It doesn't leave a weird taste in my mouth. It's funny to see that it's brown. It actually looks like chocolate mousse to me. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, cool. It doesn't leave my teeth feeling sensitive or anything like that. As you can see, I guess right now, like they seem pretty white, but after I wash, it's nice to see them like extra shiny and, um, and even more white. As you can see, my dirty handprint is already on it. This is a seaweed clay mask. It's this deep pore cleanser. Um, for all skin types. I already used this once literally the next day that I got it because I was really excited um, So I'm not going to use it again because like I said, it's only been three days and yesterday I used the peeling solution So I won't have video footage of this, but basically it goes on really nice It's kind of like the um, Indian healing clay mask not as thick and not as strong just much more gentle you put it on, it washes off very easily so you don't have to worry about feeling like you're scrubbing. And finally, I haven't used this yet, but they sent me also the Deep Cleansing Scalp and Hair Scrub. The scent is green apple and it has argan oil. So I'm really curious about this. Um, the last couple days, ever since I started using the Eco Styler Gel and realized how amazing it is for my hair in terms of like it really lays down my uh, flyaways, my hair, my edges, everything. I am going to get rid of all that buildup, hopefully with this one. So I haven't even used it yet. This is my first time opening it. Um, as you can see, the seal is still on. Um, oh, it smells, whoa, it smells so good. Mmm, it definitely smells like green apple. Kind of reminds me of like Bath and Body Works, like back in the day. Was it Bath and Body Works or another brand? I want to get all that gel and gunk out of my hair. Those are the new products that I got. Thank you so much, Zion Health. I'm so fully in support of them. You should check out their website. And remember, you can get 30% off with me if you just use my name. I'll have the information down below. And definitely check out that deodorant because, again, I'm still using it. That's my go-to. I love it. It smells great. It lasts all day. I'm gonna get up and close and show you my skin, like really close, so you can see what's going on. You didn't think I'd get that close. I literally rolled out of bed, put in my contacts, threw my hair back. I haven't even washed my face yet. So this is just how I wake up. I did do the peeling solution um, from The Ordinary yesterday, and then I ended with my um, Grand Active Retinoid. Uh, emulsion and so when I wake up my skin is like so soft I don't feel like oil craziness there's just a little bit right around the nose and in my t-zone and stuff but it's not like slick here is how my face looks everything is smooth if it helps that's definitely from that lactic acid oh my god it is a dream again feels smooth this was the most recent uh, cystic acne that like broke out and then I just put one of those acne um, little pimple patches. I did that two days in a row and then um, it ended up like drawing it out and so now I just have a scar. Oh, remember over here when I had that like huge thing? I don't even know where it was now, but now it's gone. But yeah, so overall, this to me, we can work with. Like, I feel like I'm happy with it and we're gonna keep continuing with this. So I just keep on using my products what my back looks like before and then I'm gonna show you guys what my back looks like now so not this big thing in the middle that's a scar but this part this side has definitely cleared over here and then I'm still kind of working on this side so here is my back and I'll try to figure out how to get the best angle so you can see um, and then also I can see what's going on but there is stuff there, but it's like going away. I hope that this is helpful to anyone um, to just see where I'm at. Obviously, my the back knee is not completely gone, but I'll take that. What I would love to be a couple months from now is to have all these scars just gone. Just like Babu. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.